The number one killer is time. Good luck with that. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Street was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Hey guys, LeBron98 here. Whoa, we have some Quantum Break. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I'm a huge Remedy fan. And I'm so excited to play this. And I actually played this a little bit. Just to kind of get used to the controls. And, uh, you know, just to test out my equipment and stuff like that. Why not wait till And then... Uh, I basically started over. Oh, I think I did know. roughly the first chapter. Uh, and that was it. So, uh, another thing with this one Big is that there's going to be live action cutscenes. I think anybody who's been following this game is well aware of that. Uh, so basically, when those come up, uh, I will basically shut up, watch the show. You can, guys can grab some popcorn like I will. Watch that episode. I think each, each one's a roughly 25-30 minute episode. And uh, we'll do that when the time comes. Do you know where and of course, we is? will be doing commentary during these gameplay cuts, these gameplay Thanks. sections, obviously. So, uh, yeah. One thing you'll notice right off the bat, it, this is a pretty game. And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, that's not really a surprise for Remedy. Remedy's always been, been pretty good at the whole graphics department. All right. Uh, another thing I will do. I don't know if it's. I'm. Mean, this definitely isn't going to be like a full playthrough. This is, it's going to be after I get with that fraternity, you've uh, past to where I left down. off. Will actually hey, be I a blind this. playthrough. So uh, this isn't going to be. Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, you know, well, it's not going to be a full-on walkthrough so showing you where all the secrets are. Sure. Although there are a few yeah, things that I may stumble upon, and there's going to be one thing in particular if you're an Al Wake fan. That uh, we will get to very, very shortly. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Oh, really? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. It's the and clock tower. <laughs> plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For mm -hmm. what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, i got to meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. 
All right, so for you Alan Wake fans, this is one of the little Easter eggs I found. It's really early in the game. I will actually watch this. It's like a short little video. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. <sighs> He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Every story finds its writer. He smiles and looks at his eyes and the blood on his face, eyes staring. Two faces, the one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Okay, uh, first of all, I mean, I loved Alan Wake, so if they ever want to make a new one, go ahead and make a new one. You got my, my permission to do so. Uh, one thing I noticed now, I don't know if I assume this is simply just a glitch, but if you look at these chairs, see how like they shudder a little bit? It kind of reminds me of how the enemies used to shudder in Alan Wake. Now, I don't know if this is uh, an Easter egg or it's just like the game crapping out. But, uh, yeah, it's something I noticed. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. Yeah, another thing you're going to notice is that there was a this lot of way. walking and talking throughout the first the little bit of this lab. game. How was the flight? Some people may not like that. First you know, class, and a lot of people do not like this slow burn kind of thing for a video game. They prefer more more action-oriented stuff. But, you know, Alan Wake did the same thing. And I had no problem Will with that at all. I will say this game will probably get compared a little bit to uh, the Order 1886 in the sense that there's a lot of uh, sections like this that kind of more about the facility you got here. You know, talking about the plot and whatnot like that. So, and uh, since we're here, might as well just grab this. Protests against Monarch are going strong. I see. Now, someone was telling me that, depending on how many things you pick up throughout a level, can actually affect uh, the cutscene, the live-action cutscene sections. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but I thought if, if you know if something is within reach, I'll, I'll probably most likely pick it up. It's going to change the entire world. Why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on that? Yeah, I, again, the graphics are really good in this. I, I like I how like never. the faces are animated. Oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? 
I got to say, I got to say, you know, I'm 31 years old. I grew up with video games most of my life. And to well, think that we're getting games Obviously like this I know you love this stuff. is insane on, to me. Dazzle me. You know, well, just like the, the graphical fidelity of it, the, the animation, uh, you know, just all these things. Our primary drive uh, it's really, it's time, really, you know, it's just, uh, that's the best word I can use. It's, it's amazing. It's oh, really okay. amazing. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. Don't ruin the flow, element. man. Which denies us true progress. Yeah, I know I wouldn't stop to all this stuff, but this is like part of the now, plot a little bit, so. I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Of course. Years yeah, ago, everyone knows that. William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles. Now chronon particles, absolutely. Particles, which yep. Fill an all encompassing field enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. Okay. And the results are staggering. Yeah, that's all logical right now. There's more. Oh. Uh, the primer for now. Oh, uh, it's really into that. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Mm -hmm. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Crap, what are we dealing with, King Kong? Welcome to Project Promenade. We got the epic music going on here. Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys must have some budget. <laughs> what is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Right. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. All with no yeah, there's a lot of little things like this. I think works. actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think Alan Wake had a lot of that. I don't had a lot of that too. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Yeah, you know, I, I like getting to do that. Some people are not too thrilled about reading the plot and stuff like that. But uh, Jack, as long as the plot you know in the game itself help is, not easy is decent me. enough, uh, I, I, I think these little notes and things like that are. They kind of add more See, depth the to the story. It's already there, and I, I, I don't mind that. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on so you. So what are we doing exactly? Yo, know, I'm thinking that this booty call thing that the other lady said may made me not too far off. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just scroll through these real quick. Uh, hopefully, you can actually pause these and read them if you want. Uh, again, I'm not gonna probably pick up every single one of them. This isn't like a full-on, so complete this? playthrough. This is uh, basically it's what the title says. It's a let's play, so. Uh, uh, I'm sure there will be others eventually that will be for the trophy hunters, or in this case, the achievement hunters. Uh, those will be available. I'll probably even be using those myself, depending on how difficult or how close I am to the 100% uh, for this game. Alright, we get to push a lever. Yeah. 
I can do this. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Cool. The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can. You know what? I I gotta say, I I really love being a sci-fi fanatic. I really do like the sci-fi like sounds that are in this game. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, and you can tell these guys were the same guys that did Alan Wake. Uh, they have a lot of the same, Here, same, this. you know, you need this key to voiceover the during gameplay sort of thing going on here. Uh, very story driven, you know. That's something that Remedy's always the the been good at. Even with Ma the Max Payne games, like as as good as those were, like we're as, as a shooter and whatnot, especially with the uh, game changing one way to find out. Uh, bullet Three, time effects and whatnot. Two, one. It was really the story that kind of uh, got you into that game. Well, at least for me. And the you know. The uh, slow motion bullet time effect was kind of like the cherry on top for me. Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for. You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. Hey, man, if I see a DeLorean anywhere in this game, I'm going to freak out. This is crazy, Paul. And this can't be safe. What happens when our team has already proved it works in the trial phase? It is ready. We passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. Are we about to see some sh serious shit? That switch. I don't know, madam. I think we should probably send Einstein first. You don't really want to use yourself. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? That would be kind of freaky, Paul. man. See yourself. It's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. I mean, Jack's got the right idea, man. This is kind of freaky. Exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen, before they happen, cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. Are you sure you don't want to set it to November fifth, nineteen fifty-five? Seems that's where we're going. What are you doing? Oh, damn. 
You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Well, shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? I gotta say, man, those faces are really, really good. If I had one knock against the graphics or the presentation in Alan Wake, it was that the the sinking of the lips to the dialogue was never a hundred percent. I think it's because I think Remedy is they're Swedish. I want to say, or fin from Finland, or or some country like that. And so that's obviously not their native language. And I think that might have had something to do with it. It's kind of like when Japanese do English voiceovers for their characters or whatnot. Sometimes the, the lips don't match up. And I found that happen a little bit with Alan Wake. Okay. That I'm not seeing so. it here. So they must be using like some facial okay. recognition technology. Or, you know, okay. some facial technology uh, for this game. I could hear Will's words in my head. Is going to end. Yeah, stuff's kind of cool. What the hell? This is crazy. Well, well. I don't know, man, but it looks freaking cool. She was right. All this time. It's all been avoided. We're too late. Bad guy music. There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Jack! Alright, time to haul ass. Come on! I just get through the hatch I came in through. I didn't want to leave. Sounds home. like a plan. But there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Yeah, it was kind of funny. It was that when I was actually recording this, all this area here, uh, and one of the main reasons why I restarted was because my uh, Elgato Game Capture HD or whatever wasn't picking up the center audio. So basically, every time a character talked, I wouldn't pick up that voice, which was uh, obviously not ideal when you want to do a let's play. And uh, I thought it was best rather just then to you know continue on that I would just restart it for you guys and uh, you know it would work out better that way and plus I figure I could probably get through it a little quicker having played this earlier part of the game yeah that's probably the closest that we'll get to like bullet time and stuff like that now again I've only played like for like, probably like the first chapter or so uh, so what, just this go, could be something. Move. This could be a thing later on. Was the first time but I kind of miss. I was kind of hoping control. that they would have a well. Max Payne dive yeah. in slow mo kind of thing going on, and it doesn't it seem to be the case. 
which is kind of disappointing. I was really hoping that, uh, you know, and plus with the with the whole time manipulation and whatnot in this game, that it would make even more sense to do something like that. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be a thing. So why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. I will handle this. HQ, securing the will. server. Over. More of them. Hide. I need a server room like this for all of our They're YouTube and uh, my whole Plex Media library and stuff like that. I warned Paul about this. If I ever had the money, I, I would definitely have myself a server room like this. I think. Yes, a gun. Everything at your fingertips. Simple, shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always Shh. you. Are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... Oh, you idiot. <laughs> oh my god. You lucky SOBs. You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I Sorry. Right. Okay, let's get moving. I swear in sections like these areas in games, it's just like, hey, look at our graphics. <laughs> That's what these sections tend to be for me. Fracturing time is only going to get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First. We have to get to my car. Mm. You're better at the door thing. Oh yes, the door thing. I can handle this, no problem. Boom, there we go. Alright, so this is like the first gunplay section in the game. And uh, that's the end of the first gun section in this game. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, we got some more, of course. The shooting in this game, from what I've used of it, it seems competent enough. I have no real complaints with it. Uh, I heard some people were complaining about it, and uh, it made me nervous going into this game, but uh, it doesn't seem to be a negative for the game, which is what I was hoping. Uh, you know, I went into this game more for like a story, the, the whole story perspective, and uh, as long as the gunplay was competent I've been in a couple tough spots. I would be happy and so far it does an see, seem to be competent so uh, maybe that will change later on maybe there's certain areas so you have to be super precise with your aiming and whatnot there's and that could be an issue maybe but uh, uh, you know so far early on in this game it doesn't really seem to be a hindrance uh, by any means so Now, as you can probably see like, right here, like, if you hold on to the trigger like I'm doing here right now, it's not probably the greatest, especially when you're at a distance from somebody. Because there's definitely a, a spread that you have to consider and recoil and whatnot. And who knows? Maybe that's what people are having issue with. Maybe they take this as a third-person shooter, therefore it shouldn't have that sort of thing in it. I don't know. Monarch could be expecting that. 
We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture, I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? All right. Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. You know what? We're going to try this, but I think we're going to try it in the next video. So I'm going to leave this bit on it. You know, leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger, but uh, we'll get into that very, very shortly. Really, really enjoyed my time with this game so far. Again, I played about a chapter's worth uh, prior to this video, and I'm definitely looking forward to completing this game. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this is the Burn 98, and hopefully, you look forward to the next video, which will be probably in two days. So, thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. See ya. Bye.